What's he doing? He's reading. Uncle Yoke. We're in the Chesapeake Club and we're waiting to get on Air Lingus. You don't have to keep that thing trained on me this long. <laughs> Westbury Hotel, we're in room 604. And look at this lovely room. This is the view out of our window. We're in Dublin and we're looking at Grafton Street. They have beautiful flowers. There's a flower vendor down there. And this is the area where the better shops are. Churches. We're going for a, a tour this afternoon at 5 of 2. It's now 10.30. We haven't had any sleep because we left at 7.40 and we arrived at 1.30 in the morning our time. So this is the view out of our hotel room in beautiful downtown Dublin. At St. Peter's Cathedral, this is not a Catholic church. This is an Anglican church. St. Patrick's Cathedral. In Dublin. This is the Bowie Monument inside St. Peter's Cathedral in Dublin. You can see the figurines and all the family members. It's carved and it's a wooden carving. Very elaborate. How? How? Don't go away. I'm just going to walk over here for a minute. What is that? Statue of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. This is Trinity College, where we're going to go see the Book of Kells. The National Stud Farm. Does it say? Uh huh. That's why I'm in the picture. The flowers in Ireland. I pose for all the pictures. Yes, you do. There you go. Smile. You're on candid camera. <laughs> I don't want to be in the pictures. Okay. Look how beautiful. We lost everybody else. The scenery. <laughs> this is him, the National Stud. Excuse my voice, I lost my voice two days ago, so okay, so um, it's a sunny with a croaky. I'm just getting it back. I'll try and talk as loud okay, as I can. Look at look at the little um, ducks. Just giving you, first of, all, first of all, you're very welcome. Um, give a little bit of background information about the stood farm itself. I think there's a few more bodies here. I'll just hang on. Stallions live. Let's see the names. Broken heart. Teaser. You can see the paddock area. They have lovely flowers hanging outside a big store. It's a nice cool day here, around 60 degrees. Lovely weather. There's about a thousand acres. There's Japanese gardens. 
and was started by the son of Johnny Walker, Whiskey. Indian Rage. That's, that's, that's the champion stud that there is around here. Besides for Uncle Mole. Right. <laughs> You should be in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let the brothers have their day. <laughs> it's a stone lady. Yeah. It's I should really fall behind them. <laughs> nice. Fuka, the monk. He's the painter of Cedar Gardens. Some of the horses on the farm. Here's our bus, Brendan Tours, bus number 1832. Girls and David, look at this funny little bird. He walks funny. Yeah. The Castle yeah. Palace restaurant for lunch. And here's Grampy, eating his lunch. Everybody, this is your father. <laughs> and this is the palace that he's decided to buy as his summer retreat. It's a small place, but everybody has a beautiful view. Nice job, Grampy. He was crowned King of Munster in 977 AD. He was here for just about 20 years and he went on to become High King of Ireland. Now, the Rock of Cashel was still in control of his family when he left to become High King. The rest of the pieces. So that the years were passing by, they were getting weaker and weaker, and they eventually. We're on the top of the Cashel Castle, C A S H E L. And look at the glorious countryside. This cathedral and castle dates back to 1101. Standing on the rock of Cashel, and this is what's left of the castle, and tower, and cathedral. This tall tower. Do you think that's where Rapunzel let down her long hair? Look how tall it is. This is our bottom shot of the rock of Cashel, atop which a cathedral, and the remaining part of the castle stands. Hayfield Manor, our second hotel stop. The room, large and spacious. There's Noel sitting on the couch enjoying TV. We have a lovely view of the city of Cork. This is the room. And where do you see the bathroom? The bathroom is lovely. Nice shower. Marble sinks. Bathrobes. Lovely tub. There I am. Hi. And beautiful Irish linen. This is our new room at the Hayfield. Your father, your father decided he couldn't walk all the way over to the elevator six miles, so they moved us into the owner's daughter, and she hooked us up with this new room. It has a lovely view out of the front of the hotel. Andy, we're leaving this beautiful hotel called the Hayfield Manor, and we're headed to Blarney Castle. Yeah. The 
Mariah Cardell Hotel, and we're in room 304. It's lovely. As you come in the hotel room, here is our sitting room. Here is our bedroom. Here is your father watching one TV. Oh, we've got on the Irish football playoffs. And here's a lovely view at our window. It started to rain today as we rode on the bus. But as we got off the bus, no rain. Beautiful green countryside. Saw Blarney Castle today. Your father kissed the Blarney Stone, and I forgot my camera. So we had his picture taken. Oh, we have grand bathrooms. Look. They have robes, nice showers, beds. Nice robes and slippers for our convenience. There's your father, played to the TV. Look at the nice sitting area. This is your favorite uncle, Ricky. What are you doing? He's going swimming. He purchased a bathing costume. A bathing costume? And I must say. he's on his way to swim with his Jack Daniels and Diet Coke. Oh, God. And, and Aunt Gloria's going to have a margarita. Oh, my goodness. That'll be lovely. Oh. This is for you, Robbie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make a big mustache. That doesn't make a mustache the second time. <laughs> it did the first time, made a mustache, not this time.
do all the rest of Just take a nice speed. Just down, up, down, up, down. Monday. We just finished breakfast and this is the view outside of our uh, hotel called the Ahado Hotel. Another lovely first class hotel. See the old cemetery across the way? You can hear the cars. Oh, the drivers in Ireland are terrible. They pass anybody for any reason. So this is our lovely view out of our hotel. Lovely lake. We're off to the Ring of Curry today. Army National Park. Should I get a picture of Barney? And this is this is our driver who gave us a lovely jaunty car ride. And this is the horse, Barney. And we're at Muckrus Castle now. Okay. This is Muckrus House in Killarney National Park. Gonna, we came here by horse and carriage. This is a jaunting car. Okay, Deb, here's the lake. Here's the summer cottage your father decided to buy near the lake. The rent is free, but you'll have to get yourself over here. We won't be back. Well, they're going inside. This is our new lake, Deb. Beautiful. Our new lake home. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Our new place has beautiful formal gardens. Lovely gardens. Beautiful house, beautiful lake, beautiful gardens. Beats the shore any day. Okay. Okay, squish. Smile. Again. All right. This is a photo op. Look at the water. I did. I'm going to the scenery now. Yeah. 
Irish mountains. That's Ireland. Sitting on the wall of Dingle Bay. This is on the Dingle Peninsula. There goes Gloria. Bay is where they filmed Gloria Ann's daughter. There's a beach. It's quite a large bay. And Gloria's walking on the wall. They told her not to do it, but if you say don't do it, that, and she does. Everybody's out on the roadside. Here's your father sitting in the bus. Up, can't drink on TV. Up to the mouth. Guinness for you. Yes. You need a white mustache. There you go. White Guinness. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you could have three Irish tenors. Charles, to you. Yeah. The this, three tramps, to you, Mom. The three tramps, Charlie Chaplin and Rick. He used to come here for a summer. They were at the Friends Line Boat Museum. It was the first place off the River Shannon that they made the flying boats. Very interesting. Maureen O'Hara is coming here on Saturday, and I left her a fan letter. I hope I hear from her. Girls, here we are at Dremolin Castle. This is Gam and Grampy's room. It's a lovely room. See our beds? We have a TV and lovely bathroom. Look at the grand bathroom. Nice and big. These are heated towel racks. They have them all over Ireland. This is a view out of the castle window. This is Drumolan Castle, and it's located on Newmarket on Fergus. And it was a rainy day today. But we had a very pleasant day. We had a lovely lunch in Adair, potato leek soup, and a small salad with shrimp or chicken. We have a lovely room, and we're having a formal dinner here tonight. So greetings from Dromolin Castle. Back of the castle, Overlooking a lovely pond. The rose garden. Part of the formal gardens. In the front of the castle. And now I'm going to go back and find Grampy. They've been all around. The dining room at Dromolan Castle. As you can see, very, very elegant. Gorgeous baccarat crystal. Beautiful flowers. This is where we're having dinner tonight. Dinner's at seven. Bar. And this is the grumpy. 
in a few weeks. And various other members of the tour group. And this is the ball. Two? It's not two. One last guest for him on the night. All right. The mustache also. <laughs> You're not being bare on top of the mountain with a camera. Both. So, I did a dinner. I'm taking that beginner still. But. Isn't this beautiful? What are you just filming? The You can tell it's a bit windy here today. That's on the opposite corner. We're at the top of the cliffs. We'll ring you later. Give <laughs> <laughs> more. And these are the birds that fly around the cliffs. All these birds are flying back to the top, across from the cliffs. It's lovely and windy today. Roadside, going with craggy rocks, but your dad can't look at him. But here's Aunt Gloria picking rocks. Here's Uncle Rick, walking toward the sea. Look the whole area. But we're just on a country road and across the street. So more craggy rocks. Just you can see the vista. It's just gorgeous. Two dairy farms, as mean they are beef cattle, sheep, and small amount of horses and horses. Um, beef cattle, all in this area, that you see the beef cows, the beef calves, most of these animals are geared for export. And in total, between live exports of cattle 
and beef, we export 90% of our production. Girls, this is a baby horse. That grass doesn't grow much higher. Unless you're going to spray it back, we keep grazing it. You keep grazing it. At the farm. He's running all over there. Very wide run. Always goes wide. Well, he sure does. Buff. He's ranging up the sheep. Yes, that's your fear, yeah. Buff, sit down. Get back. Sit down. He's holding the herd. He wants one for dinner. <laughs> he likes like a lamb. <laughs> Here's the farmer. That's, that's, that's a border collie. He's, uh, he's buff, a border collie. Buff, come here. Sit, buff. Someone let him back up there. Buff. Someone let him back. Buff. 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 What happened? They thought that one that one sheep was going to charge them, the dog. Like this this sheep here. Well, he wants to do it again. Look at him. Like this sheep is going to is going to rebel. I'm getting out of here. He's a rebel. That dog's going to be coming for me. No. Oh, now they're going to turn. Perfect. Sheep in the pen. <laughs> the original farm is over 200 years old. Left on farm. Here is half and right. It's 19 kilometers away. Here we go. Room 322, Ashford Castle. Here around. The beautiful view out the window. Fountain. Ocean. Dining room at Ashford Castle. This is Mary. Myra. And Stan Draper. And we can go to Ashford Castle. We just finished dinner. In the King, King George V dining room. It is 9, 9.22 and it's still light outside. This is the main entrance to Ashford Castle. To the hotel. And below the ho the castle is surrounded by a moat. Do you think Casper lives in that room? Or maybe this room at the top of the tower. We'll have to find out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hello, I'm coming out of my room. Hello, kids. Look, Grampy's <laughs> in a castle tower. To my new room here. Oh, there's spiders. <gasps> Look, Lauren. Grampy's got a room with spiders. <laughs> right here, the spider. Right there? I wonder if it's Charlotte. Do here you comes see? the bus. The castle has a heliport. And here's a helicopter waiting. And look at the rushing river. This is the moat that surrounds the castle. Corb, C O R R I B. And this is a panoramic view of what we're seeing. The Kyle Abbey in Connemara. This is where I got the rosaries. This is run by the Benedictine nuns, and it's a day boarding school. This is the lake in front of the Kyle Moore Abbey. A lovely property. These are the Irish mountains. They're not real high. But lovely shade of green. Beautiful clean water. Church. 
at Kyremore Abbey recently restored. This is the Gothic church on the property of Kyremore Abbey. Let's see the Gothic arches. It's lovely. The bell tower. Then up the path to the Abbey. There's a whole hedge, these lovely flowers. And then across over here, beautiful butterfly bushes. Just a slight misting of rain today. Do Noah. not run and play. Do not walk on the grass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Pink Floyd's here. We're at the wall. Mm -hmm. Look at the beautiful gardens. These are the gardens of the Kylemore Abbey. Those are yellow flowers. That's dirt. <laughs> okay, start again. Why? Start with your... This is dirt. That's grass. These are green plants. And it's raining. And I'm getting wet. This pretty. Garden in that we grow only old varieties or, or this is a kitchen or varieties that were introduced before 1900. Uh, now, uh, some of the varieties that we have today have survived since the Victorian period, but most varieties haven't, and we've decided to reintroduce them. As many people believe that. The old varieties of vegetables are much better flavor this is the kitchen than those today, and that a lot of the uh, vegetables the that you have today have been developed for the herbaceous border. Now, the idea of the herbaceous border was to uh, shield the kitchen garden from view, in that the Victorian pottery was very common to look at vegetables, but that was not so many uh, You can see in the lower part of the garden. Mountains, trees, and the beautiful flowers. Look at this beautiful thing. I thought it was foxglove, but it's not. No, no. It's foxglove, yeah. I'm standing in this picturesque spot, waiting for the rest of the group. And I spied at the top of the mountain of the mountain, a bit of mist. It's now sunny. Here comes the cruise ship that we're going on for our pre-dinner cruise at Ashford Castle. Is it still alive? I don't know. Lady Orlone. We're going on a little cruise. And the Lady Orlone. Never understood him. Got it, dear? 
The Sand House Hotel, and what you're looking at is the Atlantic Ocean. Lovely hotel right on the sea. It's our lovely room at the Sand House. Lovely little Victorian couches. Victorian furniture that looks out over the Atlantic Ocean. A little bathroom. Nice interesting tile. Lovely room. A room. And here are the girls next door. Looking out the same window. Now here's one for the books. See? This says... Crabtree Shavers Only. Never heard of a Crabtree Shaver, but I heard of a Crabtree. Crabtree Shavers Only. Never heard of a Crabtree Shaver, but I've heard of a Crabtree. Bye. This is the Sand House Hotel in Donegal. And as you can see, it has the little scalloping across the top, like the turf of the turrets of a castle. And we're in a housing development kind of neighborhood where they have what they call holiday homes. Holiday homes would be like beach houses, and they would sort of look like this. Everything has walls. Not as many flowers up north here as there was in Donegal, in, in southern Ireland. Standing on a bluff at the back of the hotel. You can hear the ocean. today, but I will be walking in the sea. See, just like home, here's some trailer homes, polo parked down by the sea, and these are vacation homes for the people of Belfast. Hello. It's another adventure. Here we are in Northern Ireland. Yes, we are. Bags. It's a fishing port, home of the Swan Neck Company. Big business here. And here we have the great ship Noli. That's right. The good ship Noli Holy. Good ship Noli Holy. Hurry, it's cold on this. <laughs> Going on a riverbank cruise, and then we're back. I'm very well, thank you, this morning. How are you? Just grand. We're it's looking... a great looking weapon you have there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We're looking forward to a nice cruise. Well, you'll have a nice hour. Good. Are you sure about that? Absolutely positive. This is the River <laughs> Shannon. What's going on? We're about to have a lovely, lovely cruise. With the rain, as usual. Shake hands with your uncle, Mike, me boy, and here's your sister, Kate, 
And this is the girl you used to swing around the garden gate. Shake hands with all the neighbours. Kiss the kinds all. You're as welcome as the flowers are made to dear old Dunny Gall. They'll give a... class, your father is reading the Irish Times. And we've decided flying first class is grand. Right, no? Oh, yes. Say something nice. Nice. Nice.